Father, your truth is made known in your world. Guide us to seek the truth of the human person. To trust the way to love because you are the Lord. Jesus, you embodied love and truth. Thank you for your love. Thank you for the blessing of a new day. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. Happy new day. Happy Saturday, June 8, 2024. This is Love World, taking you open heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah. 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 It's an heaven language. Hallelujah song will never cease for our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic for this morning is the belt of truth. The belt of truth. I remember first I may find the book of Ephesians 6 verse 14. I read, Stand therefore, having your Lord's guilt, about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Belt of righteousness. Stand therefore, having your Lord's guilt, about with truth, and have it on the breastplate of righteousness. Over the next few days, I would like to discuss the important of the full armor of God listed in Ephesians 6 verse 10 to 17. The first piece of armor listed is the bed of truth because it is the more important. In John 17 verse 17, tell us that the word of God is truth. Jesus Christ is the truth. John 14, verse 6. You have to tie the truth around your waist and have it hold everything else you wear and own together. Those who live by the truth win the battle of life because the truth makes it impossible for them to be catty of anything the world has to over them. John 8, verse 32. The truth will give you a perspective far greater than the of the world. Psalm 119, verse 100. This is why you should live your life according to the God word. This is why you should live your life honorably. When you do this, everyone will see you as wise because you will excel in everything that you do and be above your peers. Who do not know the truth? The devil is father of all lies. John 8 verse 44, he tried to lie to make you and twist you the truth every now and then. This is why you must know the truth so that you won't fall for this trick. In Genesis 6 verse 5, he suggested to Eve that she would not yet like God even though Genesis 1 verse 7 says that she was made in his image and likeness. If it's the forbidden fruit, because she did not really know the truth, in Matthew 4, verse 3, the devil told Jesus to toss to into bread if he was really the Son of God. Jesus did not fall for that because really he is the Son of God. Jesus did not fall for that because he was sure that he is the Son of God. If you really know the truth, the devil will deceive you. And all is just that, your bed of truth, which hold all your other hammer in place, will be gone making you vulnerable to attack from the enemy. Don't expect the devil to come with a black cloth and horns on his head. Sometimes, he disgraces himself like an angel of light. 2 Corinthians 11 verse 14 He can tell you that the grace of God cover all sins and that you can keep sinning as they go to heaven. He can come up with logical reason to tell you that God doesn't exist or that he is wicked and doesn't love you. This is a lie that the devil has used to strip people of their bed of truth in the past. Don't fall for his trick. But then, I want us to read the book of Ephesians 6, verse 10 to 17. And our Bible in one year, Psalm 22, verse 27. Our hymn, 
in three ancient worlds. Ancient world. Our key point for today, the word of God is the truth. Anything outside it is a lie. Don't fall for it. The word of God is the truth. Anything outside it is a lie. Don't fall for it. And I pray by the special grace of God, everyone will locate you for good. In Jesus' name, Amen. Brethren, this is Love War. Till I come here with tomorrow, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, share with your friends and family, and goodness of God, never live your life. Have a nice day, and bye for now. God bless you. Happy weekend. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.